The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, traders. Welcome to the Bookmap Professional Trader Webinar Series. Uh, today we have Fausto Pugliese uh, of Cyber Trading University. Uh, let's just go through the risk disclaimer first, and then I'll introduce uh, Fausto to you. Uh, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Okay, so uh, Fausto is the CEO of Cyber Trading University. He's been doing this for quite a while here um, and uh, as an educator, but uh, he was one of the original SOS bandits uh, back in the day uh, in the early 90s, so he has been trading for, for a long time here. Uh, and uh, semi-retired uh, in his early 20s, but uh, uh, started to get into the uh, uh, trading school and education to pass along the knowledge. Uh, I actually met Fausto uh, in a uh, long time ago uh, at the Money Show here in New York City, uh, and, and watched him uh, in the, tra the Money Show's uh, Trader Challenge uh, just um, uh, easily, hands down, win uh, compared to all the other uh, experts and traders there. Uh, at that time. So uh, fantastic stuff to see. We're really happy to have him here uh, and uh, show that uh, how his trading methodologies work here in real time. Uh, one more screen here. I will be putting this into the chat uh, throughout the webinar for you. Uh, if you're interested in uh, uh, Fausto's uh, education, uh, etc., cetera, uh, and contact information, it's all here, as well as the bookmap affiliate link here. Uh, these are specials uh, that are offered uh, from Fausto for Bookmap. All right, so uh, enough said. Uh, let me just uh, kick it off here and uh, give the presentation to, to Fausto. Thanks a lot, Bruce. Let me share my screen, everyone. Just give me a second here. All right, hopefully everybody can see it okay. Just give me a chat back if everybody can see my chat okay. Uh, see my screen? Yep, looks good. All right, perfect. All right, well, welcome everybody, and uh, it's great to be here. I'd like to thank Bruce uh, for uh, having me. And let me tell you something. I want to talk a lot. Of, you know, obviously, you guys know about the book map. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to teach you a little bit about it. I'm going to talk a little bit about it. But most importantly, I am going to show you how we utilize it and how important it is to trade with traders and how to use it. Listen, if nobody really buys in to the book map together, then obviously it's worthless. But if you're working with a group of people and you're all buying in and you like it and you're looking at it, let me tell you, it, it hands down, it will change the way you're looking at trading. Now, um, just tell you what we're going to be learning. I'm going to talk about uh, why it's so important to trade with a group of traders. I'm going to talk about, uh, I know we have some, we have some people here that are, you know, traders, new new traders, and some people that are bookmap traders. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what ECNs are, why I call bookmap level four, and uh, how we can and how we can uh, tell and see with the smart money using the bookmap uh, platform. Now, um, just out of curiosity, I know we have some students here that logged in, but has anyone ever heard me for the first time? Just want to make sure if anyone here just get to know a little bit about everyone. Just go on the questions and. Just say first, seventh, <laughs> Ken, there you are. Ken says no. Hey, what's how you doing, Ken? Ken, we did pretty take we you did pretty good today in the trading, right? Did pretty well in some of those uh some trades we traded. Let's say uh always, always. Okay, first time, first time. All right. Now um my next really very important question is this. Um are you uh using Bookmap? Or are you just, or you're just uh, an observer? I heard your name about Cyber Train University. Okay, thanks a lot, Peter. You're a user, okay? Using, using, interested in using it, Florentino. Okay, no, learning how to use it, Lita. Thinking of it, okay? Use, uh, use, but learning, still learning. Okay, good. All right, so we got a lot of people that are using it. Um, and how, about how long have you guys been using it for? About two days. <laughs> That's not too long, Jeff. One month, three months, about seven months. Jeff, uh, about David, two weeks. Need to get book map. Well, Grant, we're going to hopefully we're going to we'll get that over and get that done. We'll get you to get that uh, by the end of the day. Uh, 
want to understand a little bit more about nine months pablo okay only trade 100 shares estimate with, okay jeff all right so at least i just want to get to know a little bit of everyone else okay so some of you already know me being a student here and uh but for the ones that don't know me let me just explain exactly who i am and why i'm here uh first of all like Bruce was telling you, I'm one of the original Sows Bandits, one of the original day traders that started back in the early 90s. And like Bruce said, you know, back in the early days, I did a lot of traders challenges. I beat every school in the industry, you know, yada, 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 12-time champion, big deal, right? How does that make you money, right? Well, the thing is this, I love to teach people. And what I've learned is that I live here in New York. I was trained by some of the best traders in the world. And the reason how, why I learn from traders is because before I learned from traders, I was an ignorant 22 year old kid back then because I went out there to learn on my own. And then when I finally realized you can't do this by yourself, you have to trade with other traders. Because when I, because when I first took my first step in the room of a, of a day trading room, and I saw these guys, a camaraderie, screaming, cheering, high-fiving, busting keyboards, getting upset, thinking that somebody got, you know, was watching them. It was just, it was like, wow, this is so much action, so much excitement. And, um, but, but the thing is, there was, gr there was good things and it was great things that learned from it. And there was bad things. The things that you learn is you learn what not to do from people that lose money and you learn from people, uh, that are making money, what to do. It's like working in a kitchen. You know, I love cooking. I don't know about you guys, but you know, when you start, when you, when you, if you have a passion to do and you step in a, in a, a professional kitchen with chefs and stuff like, oh my God, you go to the next level. Trading is the same thing. If you love trading, you have to surround yourself with good traders. Now, how it came about, you know, um, why I'm here and why I'm teaching is that um, I want you guys to understand that I'm going to show you a little bit about how I use the Bookmap platform. I know some of you are futures traders, current uh, cryptocurrencies, stock traders. Uh, you know, once again, the platform that I use when it comes to you know co comes to trading you know, on that book map, you're going to see that with the features that it has, uh, I, like I was telling Bruce when I first met him, I am the anti, anti platform indicator guy. I've been doing this for so long, okay, that every single person's coming out with some dumb indicator and this and that and, you know, why they're the best. It's, it's like a chef coming out with a bunch of cookbooks, right? But it never tastes the same when you eat there. Well, when you know it, it came to me that one of my students came up to me and says, Fausto, listen, you got to check out this platform, okay? And I'm like, okay, um, you know, and, and I hear it all the time, and I'm like, no, 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 you really have to check it out. It's exactly what you teach, Fausto. It's everything that you you're looking for. I'm like, all right, great, I'll take a look at it. Uh, if you say it, he's a great trader in my trade room, does very, very well, and um, you know, and I don't really listen to too many people. But only the good ones obviously know because they're always trying to uh, do better. When I looked at this platform, I'm like, holy crap, this is Instanet. I mean, it, cause, and it's not an indicator. It's a platform. It's different. And, and now it's like all my traders can't trade without it. And it just took us to the next level. That's why I teach something that's called level three trading. Some of you are probably familiar with level one, level two. Um, I call the book map level four because it, it, it's the second, it's the next level past level three. Now, the thing you have to remember, everybody, what makes stocks go up and go down is buying and selling, okay? Well, the only way you're going to know the buying and selling is going on is having the right platform to do it. So we've always been using um, NASDAQ uh, book viewer. We've been using maybe the trade station has their called matrix, but when it came to this, it just totally was like a game changer. And you're going to see it as I talk about it. But the thing I want you to understand everybody is this, to be a good trader though, you have to surround yourself with good traders and you have to surround yourself with people that use the platform. Okay. Cause it's just going to make it that much better. Now, like I told you before, I am not a fan of any software. I don't use any of that stuff. You can't use it when you're an active professional day trader because what's happening and when you're going out there and you're trading the market, you got to know exactly who the buyers are, who the sellers are. But I'm telling you, 
this is probably the first time in the 25 years I've been in business I may have ever endorsed a platform ever. And that is shocking, <laughs> okay? So when it comes to trading, guys, hold on one second. Sorry about that. Uh, let me let me get right into the education part of it and tell you exactly how these things go up and go down the way they do. Okay, so before I do that, um, just out of curiosity, can everyone just tell me what kind of trader is everybody? Are you a uh, stock trader, forex trader? What kind of trader is everyone? Okay, we've got some futures, commodities, futures, futures, stocks, mostly, yes, some options, futures. Okay, so listen, um, let me tell you the difference between all the trade, with the trader, okay, uh, being a trader. 70% of all trading is exactly the same. Everything's the same. I mean, you know, it's only 30% of different markets. 70% is psychology, discipline, you know, uh, momentum, all that stuff. So if you are a futures trader, uh, you know, you could trade the stock market. Actually, I personally, I, I learned how to trade all of them. I just like trading the stock market a little bit better because it's a little bit less risky. And you hear about it every day in, in you hear about it every day in the news in the papers. You know, you very rarely hear him talking about futures. It's always about you know what's going on in the stock market. And, and plus, you just have so much more to trade. That's one of the things. Now, first thing I want to start off is how do we scan? Okay. Now remember, the book map is just a platform. Okay, it's a platform to tell you where the buyers and sellers where they were and where they're at. The problem is, is that you still have to find the right stock to trade using that platform. So what we do here at CyberTrade University, every morning, we start trading at eight o'clock in the morning, every morning, eight o'clock. So at eight o'clock in the morning, we're trading an hour and a half before the market opens up and we're scanning the market and we're looking for stocks that have some really good momentum. Stocks like MR, uh, here's one, MRNN was up 40%. Um, uh, Rite Aid, that was a good one. That one popped it this morning, went from like 840 to 980. You know, we're looking for stocks that have momentum, but the thing is, how do you know it's gonna continue to go up? How do you know people are still buying it? How do you know where to get out? Well, before you can actually implement the book map, you first have to know how to scan, okay? Now, like I told all of you, at the end of this presentation, I'm going to invite every single one of you to come in my professional trading room, and you're gonna see how we use the book map and how we scan and how we trade. So I'm just gonna give you a little heads up on that. So every one of you are going to be have access to you know the original trading room that started over 25 years ago, okay? Now, um, what is the whole philosophy of the cyber trading university? We just follow the smart money. Listen, when I started, I learned every damn indicator out there. I learned every day. I read almost every single book that was out there. But the problem is those things don't talk back to you. Okay. What talks back to you is orders. You have to remember. We're just the ants on the floor, right? We're just trying to make a day's pay. That's all we're looking to do. We're just looking to follow the smart money. That's all we're looking to do. So how do we do that? We need to know what the brokerage firms are doing and what the institution investors are doing and what the insiders are doing. Remember, just think about that. You tell anybody those three things, you just basically, wait a minute, you could see that? I'm like, uh, yeah. How did I know that? Because I didn't know that until I got a job as a professional trader. And until today, there really was nothing out there that gave you that, that data. More or less people paying for stuff. You gotta remember, there's a lot of people in this world, they just want free stuff, right? You gotta admit, everybody wants free stuff. And you know what? I always tell my employees, I always tell my kids, and I, and, and I learned this from my dad. He says, son, you never want anything free, you just want a good deal, okay? Because if it's free, it's it, that's all it's worth. Nobody gives anything for free. And that's why, you know, when you realize, when I start getting into the book map and I start showing you, you know, what kind of trader I am 
and how successful I was, this just basically just takes it to that next level. So the goal is this. I'm going to start a little beginnerish. I'm going to start, you know, because I know that some people here are not really traders and stuff. And then I'm going to get into the, st the, the, the strategy behind the book map and how we utilize it. Uh, are there... Are you going to show how to read a book map? Yes, I, I am going to do that. But let me let me start with kindergarten before I get to the 12th grade, okay? So basically, I want you to understand the whole philosophy behind Cyber Trade University. We're following the smart money. That's it. Okay, that's all we're looking to do. Now, the goal is this. You see stocks running up. Here's a stock like we traded SOLO. In one day, the stock ran from a buck fifty. It literally ran to almost six dollars in one day. I mean, where do you find stocks that are up, you know, 300, 400% in a day? Well, first of all, the book map is not going to help you do that. You need to know how to scan and find stocks, which, by the way, that's our style at Cybertrain University. This is what you're going to get when you, when you see what we do in the trading room. Now, the, the next best, the next thing you have to realize is that even though you found these stocks that are moving, now you need to know what and how are people placing bids and offers, okay? Now, I um, back in 1997, I think it was, I was actually one of the developers and founders, uh, developers who helped uh, pioneer ECNs. Now, does anybody know what an ECN is? Does anybody know what an ECN is? Just give me a yes or no. If you don't know, I, I want to make sure I'm not getting too beginnerish with some. I don't want to waste people's time. Florentino, you don't. Okay. Brazi doesn't. It's uh, there's no ECNs for forex. It's specifically just for stocks. Okay. So we're getting obviously we have a lot of students saying yes. Okay. So let me explain to you what an ECN is. An ECN is a electronic communication network. That's the abbreviation of an ECN. Basically, what an ECN is, it allows you to, be, to become a brokerage firm, to place bids and offers, meaning you're a market maker. Now, not to bore you about history about trading back in the past, but when I started, um, whenever we wanted to buy and sell a stock, we had to buy and sell it, buy from a market maker and sell it to a market maker. So us uh, day traders are up in arms, and not, on, not only that, but who the hell we are, we, you know, uh, we, we really don't make a change. What happened was when NASDAQ found out and realized that they were getting, you know, these, these market makers were, you know, were, were stealing and lying and all that stuff, then they said, you know what, enough's enough. We're going to, we want to make it a fair market system. We want everybody to have access to the market. This is not going to be no more a private club. So they went to us day traders and says, hey, what do you think we should do? And we said, you know what, let us become a market maker. Why do we always have to agree and buy and sell things from them? So that's how ECNs were born. We were beta testing it, yada, yada, yada. Here we are today. And here, and, this, and, and now here's how Bookmap is going to be born. ECNs basically, if you notice on the New York Stock Exchange, if you watch the financial stations, you won't see anybody down there anymore. Everything's electronic. Everything is done through computers. Nobody needs to be there anymore, run around with a piece of paper in their hands and drop it to the specialist. Everything is done through, you know, uh, through ECNs. Now, the thing about ECNs is that um, ECNs is where now institutions are placing orders, market makers are placing orders. Before you were able to see market makers' names, now you know they don't want to expose themselves. Now they're routing everything through ECNs. Now there's several ECNs out there. There's ARCA, there's NASDAQ, there's BATS, there's so many of them out there. And you could see them on the level two. OK, you won't see them on the on the book viewer. So on most platforms, if you get level two and you look at the four letter symbol, these are basically usually the ones with the pound signs that you're seeing. Those are all ECNs. Now, just be very careful that when you trade with ECNs, they do charge you a little small fee. OK, some people don't realize that, but that's how they make their money. Now, what is book viewer? OK, so book viewer to me is level three. Um, book map is level four. So let me explain to a book viewer is, and then you'll see what a major difference is from this to that. Now, if any of you have watched me on YouTube or whatever, um, or attend to my free events, what, 
what separates me from every other educator out there is that I teach people how to follow the money. Okay. Other people try to teach you a strategy. They got some crazy good Fibonacci idea, uh, some crazy MACD idea, this and that. The way I teach is old style, strict, follow the money market makers. That's it. You just follow the money. And I think we all could agree to that. Now, book viewer, basically what that is, I call it level three. Now, what you're seeing here is you're seeing buy orders and you're seeing it sell orders. Hold on, let me get my little crayon in here so you can follow along. There we go. So you got buy orders here and you got sell orders out there. So this is basically a negotiated market. So whenever you want to buy a stock, if a market maker or whatever, they'll post their bids out there at the price they want to buy it. They also put their 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 shares to sell out there right on the ask okay so that's basically uh what they what they're going on now is anybody here using book viewer anybody here using book viewer no okay all right so imagine you trading without able to see orders think about this how much smarter and better decisions would you make by seeing where the buyers and sellers are OK, so when I do presentations, I show people this. They're like they fall off their chair. They're like, well, you could really see that stuff. Like you could see the orders out there. You could see the buyers and sellers. I'm like, yes, absolutely. That's the beauty about trading with, you know, with a. A, a mentor <laughs> and, 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 and with it and with a, with good traders. Now, um, where and how does book map come into play? OK. Right. Just like the current order book, Paul, that's correct. OK. Now, where does book map come into play? Book map is a totally different bowl game. Why I call it level four is because it's the next level. I feel it, it technically it's not level four. There's no there's actually no such thing. Level three. I started that name level three, and level four. But it, to me, it's like the Apple phone. Right. You got the Apple one, the Apple two. We're at, we're at Apple 15 now. I don't even even know. I think I'm still stuck at the Apple 8. But um, but this is going to give you more data. Remember, it's the data that dictates where the stock is going. Now, when you implement, you look at this. When I first look at this thing, I believe it or not, even me as an advanced trader, I was confused. I'm like, what in the hell is all these balls? And what is this color and the dark blue and the red? I, I got the red part. I'm like, but what is all this on the bottom? And then, you know, what's the COB? And, you know, like everything was just like, and, it, and at first, if anyone looks at it, you're kind of confused. You know, you're like, ah, forget it. You know what? I'll just go back to just buying and selling it. But then when you start, when you start realizing and you start thinking about this for a second, yeah, talking about being a Christmas tree is absolutely right. You know, and it definitely has the Christmas tree colors, right? The 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 green and the, uh, the green and the red. So when it comes to that, th thanks for sharing that, Ken. So anyway, when you're looking at this platform, now the question is, what exactly am I looking at? What exactly is this book map? What is it telling me? Okay. Now let's get back to what I told you about Nasdaq Book Viewer. Book Viewer is showing you all the orders that are out there you're seeing how many shares and at what price they're looking to buy it you're looking at who's selling it and how many shares they're looking to sell now whoever wants to buy the stock for the most amount of money is up on top whoever wants to buy his shares for less money is down at the bottom so you're basically seeing those orders out there okay now how does bookmark come into play well what happens with level two, level three with book map, I mean with uh with book view, uh with the book viewer, is that you're seeing the order out there, but then people could cancel an order. You I get people ask me all the time, they're like, Oh, how do you know these are real orders? Or how do you know they cancel? Right? How do you know you got executed? Well, that's where the book map comes in. The level the NASDAQ uh trader uh does not tell you that. You know, the ECNs don't tell you that. This will, and it'll tell you how long he's been there and where he's been. So looking at over here, in a nutshell, 
basically what you're looking at is we're looking at a stock uh, TVIX, okay? It's in it's obviously it's an ETF, and you could see. Um, let me get my crayons again one more time. My little spot. So you could see how the stock literally went from fourteen dollars, which is here, okay, and went all the way up to a price of fifteen, and then it came back down to about fourteen forty, went back close to fifteen fifteen, and just came right back down. Now, why did the stock stop at 15? Why didn't it go to 16? Why didn't it go to 18? Why, why, why didn't it stop at 14? Why did it go from 13.90 uh, all the way up to 15? Well, when you see this red bar and you work your way down, on the right-hand side where it says COB, these are all the orders that are out there as we speak. So, there is a 43,000 share seller sitting at $15. Not only he's been sitting there, because let's say we're looking at the time right now, he's he's been out there since before 10 a.m. and he's out there right now. Okay, so what what makes and this is a question for all of you, everybody. What makes support and resistance levels on a chart? It's a very important question. You should all be able to answer this. What makes a support and resistance levels on a chart? If you can't answer this question, you should definitely quit trading. <laughs> Buyers and sellers, right? Everybody write that, just B and S. Don't be uh don't worry about it. No one's gonna rat you out. Listen, it applies to futures, it applies to forex. It's all about buyers and sellers well now the pro okay now the problem with a chart is a chart is delayed the chart is telling you what happened in the past it's not indicative of the future did you hear what i just said a chart is what happened in the past it's it's not always indicative what's happening is going to happen in the future. The book map is telling you what's happening in the future. Holy crap, are you serious? Yes. Because what makes resistance levels? Sellers. Now you're seeing the sellers out there. And that is what gives you the game plan, where to get in and where to get out. All right, let me change the slide here. So, look at this example right here. You're looking at a chart, and you're like, okay, well, the stock went up. It went to 15. It came back down. Uh, you know, I got three candles, stick greens, whatever. Look, I don't know what the hell you, is going to give you any indication the stock's going to go up other than not knowing why will it stop at 15. Why would it, would it bounce at 1360? You have to see the orders. Um, Jerry, level three does that too. It does. But the difference is between level three and the book map is that the, the level three, and I'm going to show it to you, the level three is only showing you what's there at that, at that time. It's not going to show you how long he's been out there and is he getting executed. You see, you're getting more valuable data out there that you're not getting with other stuff that's the big difference ah uh, hit a light bulb there jerry that's what i like to hear so the big buyers and sellers create big supports and resistance levels on a chart i mean hands down that's basically what it comes down to is that why uh that limit is there that's correct david absolutely that's what makes those um limit or that's basically you're seeing those limit orders and you can't you can't see those in order limit orders unless you have this data remember where we where we started right what makes stocks go up and go down supply and demand well what the hell are you using that's showing you supply and demand some 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 macd okay some uh a 200 moving average some some other crystal ball that somebody invented on an indicator who's trying to hit you over for 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 fifteen dollars twenty dollars which is actually a waste of money you know what i mean so it, it all comes down to that so let's see um tvix now okay so here you are 
let me show you how we look at trading. So here you are looking at a stock, right? And you're seeing what happened this morning. And you see how the stock is really like, right now it's trading at $14.14. To be a good trader, and if you own a stock, you should always have a game plan. Looking at this, at this uh, book map, in theory, where do you think the stock is going to be hitting its next major resistance level, everyone? Where do you think? And that's right, the red area. And where does that red area go to? If you don't know the answer, just give me a question mark. I'd rather you be honest with yourself, okay, then not be honest because you're going to end up just losing all your money. Because let me tell you something. One of the biggest passions that you learn if, you, if I ever become your mentor and you, and you're, and you become a, a trader for a cyber trade university, you're going to realize I take this very, very seriously. There's no reason why anyone should lose money other than for stupidity. I hate to say it. You can't see the numbers? Okay. So first of all, here's your red line. Stock is right now trading here at 14.40. So if it was to go up, you're hitting the next red, red line. Look, look at it a second. You got 5,000 shares, 1,000, one share, 2,000, 1,000. You have an 18,000 share seller out there. So as a trader, you know, it would be nice to own a stock to go from 14 to $18, right? Like, wow, that'd be a nice little profit. You know, they talked about, you know, this is going to be the next best thing since sliced bread. Yeah, okay, great. Let it get through 1425 first before you start thinking about going to 1450 or 16 or $20. It's got to get through that guy first. Okay. And how do we know that? Because there's a limit order out there sitting there. Okay, so. David has a very good question. How do you know they're not spoofing? First of all, David, isn't spoofing illegal? Isn't that illegal spoofing? Yeah. Okay, so why would you think somebody – why would somebody go out there and be so stupid and do that? You know what the fine is for somebody to do spoofing? Okay? They were probably doing it a while ago, you know, but let me tell you, you can't screw around with the SEC. They'll, they'll eventually catch you. You know, eventually catch up. Listen, I've been in business for 25 years, okay? I've trained tens, if not hundreds of thousands of people. Let me tell you something. I, and I'll give you a heads up. I even know some schools personally that probably be out of business, some of the biggest ones, because they are not compliant with what they're saying. How do I know that? I see people go out of business all the time for some the same stupid mistakes. You got to be compliant. I've seen brokerage firms go out of business trying to do that. It's not worth it. There's an old saying, if you don't want to do the time, don't do the crime. Okay? Now, let's look back what you got going on over here. Look what happened to the stock right here. It went exactly what we just said. It went straight up to 1435 right around that price. And what did the stock end up doing? It's hitting it, it's bouncing, it's hitting it, it's bouncing it, it's hitting it. There's a 22,000 share. Yeah, it's stalling right there, right? And you, and you got to remember, this guy's been out there since 9.30 this morning. It is now 10 o'clock. He's been out there with that limit order there the whole time. The book map is tracking these orders. Level three doesn't track when he started. It just shows you where he's at right now. That is the big advantage. Now, how do we know the stock is going to go higher? What do we need the stock to break through resistance levels? What do we need for the stock to go past that, that big order, everyone? What do we need the stock to do? We need a demand. Very good. We need a demand. We need more buyers. Okay? Listen, stocks break support resistance levels all the time, right? Well, how does that ever happen? Two things. The guy's got to, it's going to cancel his order, which one of you said spoofing, you know, but that's not, you know, 
listen, I wouldn't be in business with, with a bunch of thieves and crooks. So <laughs> anyway, so you, that would be one. And secondly, the guy's getting executed and the book map is showing you that. That's what the bulls are for. Green means that there's buying going on. The bigger the bull, the bigger, that means the more aggressive the trade. The red, the, you know, and that's, and you're seeing it and you're seeing the trades go on. What just ended up happening with the stock, everybody? What did it do? It went higher. It, it busted through that so-called resistance levels right here at 950. You could see all the green bars, boom, boom, boom. Now that green, that, that red bar is not there anymore, right? You see just the balls. Look, he's not there anymore. There's nobody resisted. There's no more orders. And then what did it do? It went all the way up to the next resistance levels, which we could see is right around $15. So like it or not, hope all you want, fasten your seatbelts, because unless there's someone that's going to resist it, it's going right to 15. And guess what? It did exactly what it's supposed to do. And that guy was out there ever since. Rezard said, oh, wow, that's fantastic. Listen, this is, like I told you before, you want to make money in the market? Do you want, I mean, are you sick and tired just sitting around and holding positions? How many of you guys get suckered into a position and, and get, and, 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 you know, everybody talks about the winners, everybody talks about the losers, right? And then you're in a position and like, you know what, I, I do good, but I always get suckered in holding a stock and it's got to make up for my losers. You know, it's like I do good, but I, I have a problem taking losses. You know, I always tell everybody here at Cyber Training University, let me tell you what our strategy is also. We don't teach you how to make money, which I know sounds ridiculous. Like, why would I need you for? No, no. We teach you how to stop losing it. The winners take care of themselves. You got to know how to take a loss. You know, and you got to know how to take a profit. That is a major problem that people have. Now. Let's look at the stock and continue with the stock. What end, what, what end up happening to the stock, everybody? David says, do you sell in front of those reds? Listen, David, first of all, if you made 50 cents on 1,000 shares, you made 500 bucks, you do that every day for the course of a year, you made $100,000. You know what? I, I know a lot of people would be pretty static right now if they could sit home at the luxury of their house, have fun, maybe go golfing and work in a half hour a day, could do that, would do that any day of the week, all right? Because guess what? What happened when we hit that resistance levels? It tanked, right? And how, fa how bad did it tank? That nice little profit not only became a break even, it ended up becoming a big loss. And not only was there a big, a big uh, um, resistance levels, you could see it, that guy never sold his shares at 15. And not only that, but you see, if you look over here on the right, let me get my crayon out there, you could continue to see that someone went out there, even dumped more shares, 215,000. 107,000. You're going to tell me that you're going to be smarter than that guy? Are you kidding me? I would take this is why I beat every single school that I compete against. And I wish I had this platform because I probably would have been a, you know, I would not only would have beat them, I would have crushed some of these tri uh, other schools. Because it's just like it's a telltale window. You know what? They can sit there and, you know, analyze all they want. I'm just following the money. That's all I'm doing. And that's what you guys need to do yourself. Um, so let's just say you came in at uh, 450, um, which wasn't the red, but orange. Do you sell partial in front? And if it goes uh, over and you partial back? Right, David. Like the thing is, it, listen, let somebody else break through it, right? If it breaks through, then I'll just buy it back. And guess what? If you didn't sell it, the thing tanked. And that's when it, that's where it happens. Good. So anyway, it's pretty funny, but you know, when I first met Bookmap, they said that these they they call these things iceberg orders. Now, believe it or not, I actually came up with that word iceberg orders about 20 years ago. Um, it's funny now everybody's now starting to use that word. So if you want to know how that that word ever was invented or who came up with it, I actually came up with it, and I'll tell you how it all came to fruition. Um, 
You guys ever, you, anybody watched the movie, The Titanic? Okay. It's very depressing movie, very upsetting. You know, I've actually, I think that was, uh, you know, I think I even cried at that movie at the end when he was drowning. So anyway, the point of the Titanic was they built this massive ship, beautiful ship, high-end ship, the most gorgeous ship ever, and they called it the unsinkable ship. That's why they call it Titanic. Well, what happened was the Titanic, um, they only focus was on top. They didn't realize that, you know, an iceberg could sink it. And they're like, ah, you know, we, we, we could see what we see icebergs, but they didn't realize it's not what's at the, on the top of the water. It's what's at the bottom of the water on top is very small on the bottom is very big. And that's what we're looking for. If you don't have the right radar, guess what? You're going to sink and you're going to end up blowing up your account. And that's how it all came about. So if you guys ever want to know where that word iceberg came in, that's how, that's where it all came about. Oh, the captain was drunk. I don't know about the press possible. All right. So let's look at some of the morning watch lists that, uh, that cyber trading is traded. Okay. And tell you a little bit about it. So anyway, there's a lot of stocks that were moving. And this is what we do here at Cyber Trade University. Now you understand about the book map and the level three and everything else. Now you have to understand. And by the way, I know we had some future traders here and everyone else. You could realize you could relate to this. You see, the, 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 the difference with what we're doing here is that I always just feel that the stock market's a lot less risky. That's really, you know, um, and you also have a lot more to choose from. Remember, why do we trade? To make money. Always remember that. Now, the thing is, now you need to have, surround yourself with some people that have good ideas, have good game plans, that trading just like you. Listen, question to all of you. Anyone here trading by yourself? Anybody trading by yourself? Um, a, question, a couple of questions coming here. Um, how do you know if that's a large sitting order? Uh, will it eaten through? And continue higher or reverse well that's what the balls are for the balls and uh, the CVP will tell you um, on that angle will tell you if those orders are getting filled but that's what the balls are for that's telling you if they're getting if they're if they're if they're buying or selling uh, but getting back to my question look how many of you are trading by yourself Helene Florentino um, Razard I hope I said it wrong Charles, Jerry says no more. Jeff is. Uh, Paul says his cat's helping out. You know what? I love my cat too, Chloe too. Uh, let me just tell you a funny story about Chloe. Um, one day I went to the bathroom and Chloe decided to jump on my desk and she started touching some of my hotkeys on my keyboard and she ended up buying me like 10,000 shares of stock. So Chloe's not allowed in my trading room anymore. Just give you a heads up on it. Be careful of cats because they don't, <laughs> it's, it, uh, thank God I was able to break even. The bad thing about it, is it took me about two hours to get out of all those positions. Uh, anyway, it's all about surrounding yourself with good traders, okay? And remember, you don't need a lot of money to trade to make, uh, to have a very successful career in trading. You know, listen, you hear these stories, you'll meet these traders in our room. I have traders that make not, not hundreds, thousands of dollars a day. Now, how did they get there? By making, starting off, breaking even, making $100 a day, working their way up. You know, I hate to compare trading to gambling, but have any of you guys ever played blackjack? Have anyone played blackjack before? Okay, so think about this for a second. If you play blackjack and your job, your career was to be a professional blackjack table and you only learn you play one hand, that's it, one hand, one deck, okay? And I started you off with 100 shares, uh, $1. And you sat there all day. Eventually, you're going to get him like, you know what? I can't. You, first thing you're going to say is, you can't make money at $1, you know? That's not the point. The point is you got to learn the deck. You got to learn, you got to learn the patterns. You got to learn what's going to come up. You got to learn everything. And eventually you're going to be like, okay, now I'm doing good. I'm like, I'm winning 70% of the time. I'm losing 30% of the time. So what do I do next? Okay, now let's play, trade, let's play with $5 hands. Let's see how you do. And, oh, now we got a little money on the line. We get a little more risky. Next thing you're like, okay, well, doing better. Okay, now you're playing. $25 hands, $100 hands. Eventually, you get to the $500 hands, you know, but you, but everybody wants to make money yesterday. 
listen, this is not, you hear this, this line all the time. Trading is not a sprint. It's a marathon. You know, you just got to surround yourself with great traders. You got to surround yourself with a good platform and you got to surround yourself with people that are using the same thing that you're doing. And that's how things work. Um, so anyway, I'm almost out of time here, guys, because I got to get ready for a class myself. Uh, I got to get ready to get back with my traders uh, in the room. But um, and I'm going to answer your questions a little quick, David. And uh, like Ken just saying, it's a long process. And by the way, you'll get to meet all these traders. I know we have a lot of students here that are here now, and you're going to be happy to meet with them and the traders. Unfortunately, you can't read their chats. Um, you're more than welcome. So anyway, just give everyone a heads up. Every one of you need to learn from mentors, and you're going to need more than one, okay? Um, and it's just, it might not just be me, and it's okay. You want to listen to people. You listen to Bookmap. They had people here all day long. You know, you had, you had a great presenter yesterday, the day before that. They do a very good job. They know that the one that educates wins, okay? You have to learn. This is not something you could just sit back and watch a couple of YouTube videos, which is nice. You know, listen, it'll give you, you know, it gets you motivated, but you can't learn to be a brain surgeon on, on YouTube. You wouldn't give your money to a financial analyst that learned how to uh, reading out of a book, okay? You need to learn from people that, that, that you get it and that are trading exactly the way you want to trade. And then you realize we're trading what a great job it is. You know, listen, it's not a full-time job. It's a part-time job when it comes to trading. I don't know why people think I got to be here all day. I'll be out of my mind. I got better things to do. You know, that's the reason why I'm doing an event right now. I'm done trading. We, tr we had two good trades this morning. Everybody knows it. We traded Overstock and we traded um, um, Rite Aid. They were just great runners in the morning. What else are you going to need to do? You make your day's pay and you're done. Then you can spend more time with your family. You can do the things you always want to do in life, you know, but you got to know how to play the game. All right. So just to let you guys know before we go, I want you to understand a little bit about Cybertrain University. We've been endorsed by more brokerage firms than any broker, any any educational school in the industry. And let me tell you something: that is very, very important. And you should, and, and if anyone trains you, make sure they're being endorsed by brokerage firms because these brokerage firms have a lot to lose. They have a big compliance department. They do credit checks on us. They do audits on us. They wouldn't want us to train somebody that's teaching them how to lose money, more or less, teaching them how to cheat the market. So. You know, when, when somebody tells you they've been around the, the block this long, that's obviously a good thing, okay? So make sure you do your homework. So before you go out there, you're all going to have to spend money on education and, 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 and be prepared that you want to do this right, you're going to have to spend some money. Um, but you don't have to spend a lot in the beginning. But, uh, but make sure you get, you're being endorsed. And... You know, feel free to go on Google, look up us on Facebook, look at the, what the what our students are writing about us, and you'll see. Um, like I said, I always appreciate our traders uh, going out there, writing good things. But you know why they go out there and do it? Because they were you. Okay, they failed, they made mistakes, but you know what? They all said the same thing. I just love trading. I haven't met a trader today that lost money that doesn't still love it today. Like you know what? I lost money, but I still do it. I talked to a guy yesterday. He lost, he says, he's been 10 years, he lost 200,000. I'm like, and you're still in the game? He goes, I just love it too much. I know I'm going to get it. He goes, but now, I, you know, Fausto, I just wish I found you 10 years ago, you know, but I guess it's never too late to do it because I finally found someone that's teaching me, you know, what not everybody else is preaching, how to follow the money, how to use level three, how to use book map, all that stuff. So this is what basically, well, he was an addict. <laughs> Listen, you know what? He was still in the game. So anyway, um, this is what I want all of you guys to do. I told uh, Bruce that I want to invite all of you guys to come to the original trading room. And I want you not to judge us on the winners, okay? I want you to judge us on our losers and how we get out of them and how we control them. The winners are great, okay? But I don't want you to focus on that. I want you to focus on how we're using Bookmap, how we're using Level 3, how we're using the platform that you're using. That is what obviously is going to help you become a good trader. Yes, Tommy, uh, Tom, we do, um, why is Bookmap not shown in the chat room? Well, Tom, first of all, we do show it in the chat room. We both, we bring it back and forth. You gotta understand something. We only can fit one window in the screen, okay? 
Um, the book map is, is, is a platform. What we're showing you is the execution system. So yes, we're moving it back and forth. You know, we got three different things going on at one time. So, uh, and I know some people here are just trading with just a, a laptop 15 inch monitor. So we don't wanna, you know, we try to do the best that we can, we come to it, but, but we show it in the room. And um, the thing is, so this is what I'm gonna offer all of you. I, want, I need to know if you're a real person and if you're serious, okay? We're not looking for free people in the room. Um, we need to know, you know, who you are. We wanna talk to you, uh, everything. And this is what we're offering. It's not a lot of money, guys. It's a cup of coffee here in New York City. That's what they charge, nine bucks. $9 is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a day trading crash course. You're gonna get a cyber group trading room. You're gonna get three daily market meetings. You're gonna get free commentating in the trading room, a morning and afternoon watch list. You're gonna actually be able to talk to your own personal education advisor. You're gonna go in here at Cyber Trade University. You're gonna get one of um, live Q&A training sessions. And as a bonus, if you guys register, okay, you will be able to get, um, for the first 20 people, I will give you a free coaching class, okay? So that's basically what it comes down to it. You get a free coaching class, you're gonna get all this, and you know what, after seven days, if you don't like it, I'll give you, I'll give you $9 back. Listen, personally guys, I don't need the $9. I tell everybody this all the time. This is just to prove to me you're a real person. You wanna take me seriously, you wanna know how we use Bookmap, you wanna know how we find the stocks, you wanna know how we get in and out of these positions, you know, um, prove to us who you are, and then we'll go from there. And you know what? When we'll talk, I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to tell you if trading's for you or not, okay? So, you know, the thing is this. Trading's not for everybody, and I tell everyone, and that's okay. That's, that, that's, that's fine. You know, listen, not every kid goes to college and f fulfills what he went to college for. Actually, 20% of them actually do. But wouldn't you want someone to tell you the real truth? Wouldn't you want someone to actually... And don't you want to surround yourself with good traders? You know, unfortunately, I hate to say this. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I don't know if anybody follows football. I'm a Jet fan. But I'm a miserable Jet fan because our Patriots keep killing us. If you follow football, these guys won six Super Bowls, and they're in our conference. They beat us all the time. You know, but I don't hate them. I respect them. I, I kind of hate them, but I got to respect them. The guy, they, they're very talented. We're, you know, the only people will die and take a pay cut just to be on that team, you know? So the thing is, you want to be on a winning team? You want to see what winners look like? Take the $9 and make that investment. So we posted the link up in the chat room, um, the CyberGoo trial. Just click on that link, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll get you registered. So I got a couple of minutes left. Um, I want to answer some questions coming across here. Adam Gates needs uh, to join. <laughs> Gates needs to join uh, the CTU team. Well, you know what? You know what's kind of funny is shockingly, um, just to let everybody know, you'll notice I do teach a lot of NFL players. Um, I do a lot of charity work for the NFL. Actually, uh, Bruce was actually there uh, for one of the events that I did, so he can vouch for it. So um, I do a lot of charity. I help a lot of NFL players. They lose a lot of money, you know, uh, giving to these analysts, and they're like, you know what? They don't know finance, so I teach a lot of them. And you'll meet them in a trading room, and some guys that win, you know. Some some Super Bowl players in there. It's amazing, and let me tell you, they're not. They realize how important it is. It's a lot cheaper to be uh, on a winning team than going get to somebody else and blowing it and trying to charge you a commission on it. Uh, but uh, what else we got? Questions here. Uh, Fausto, why is okay? So I spoke to that one. Um, will I need to have a trade station to scan? Uh, can I do that on Thinkorswim? So listen, you don't need. Listen, don't worry about brokerage for accounts if you have one already. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, just worry about the $9 right now, okay? Worry about the $9, get in the trading room, see what we got, and then we'll worry about it when we talk together. You know, I look at you guys as some 16-year-old is, is now legally to drive, and they're worrying about buying the car. Let me teach you about how to drive first before you go out there and kill yourself, all right? That's the way it comes down to it. Um, any other questions, guys? Uh, ben says, how do you screen for smaller volume, easier trades since they can be pushed around easier? No, Ben, that's completely false. I don't know who taught you, Ben, but that's that's not right. Um, I'm going to teach you. How, you're going to see how we scan, and we actually scan before everybody else is in the market. You know, we start at 8 o'clock, actually 7.45 in the morning. So um, scanning is actually pretty easier. Getting stocks getting pushed around, listen, less expensive stocks. Less experienced traders, brokerage firms put on there, the easier it is for you to get in and out of these positions, okay? 
Rosario already signed up. Well, good, Rosario. Thank you very much. By the way, just a couple of shout outs. I do see a couple of people registering right now. And um, who do I got here? Uh, Brazio, yeah, there you are. Just got you registered. You from Arizona? Is that where you're from? Perfect. Just got your registration. Look forward to seeing you. Uh, John from Los Angeles got your registration. Good to see you. Okay. I see you guys registering now. By the way, when you register, there's a little, there's a, a quick uh, a question, that, a Q&A we're going to ask you. Just let us know a little bit about you. It's just going to make things a little bit easier for us to kind of advise you what would be best for you. Uh, what else we got here? On equities, pick up on book map. Uh, don't know what that means. Okay. Do you trade on margin on low cost? Paul, when you day trade, you know, as long as it, it, you don't need the margin, but it's nice to have it. It doesn't cost you anything. You know, it's not like uh, doing a swing trade or an investment. So uh, usually not, but if I need it, it's good to have it as an emergency. It's like a credit card. You know what? You might have a $50,000 credit card limit. Doesn't mean you go blow it at the end of the month, right? But you know what? God forbid something happens, it's a catastrophe, you're stuck somewhere in some desert island, and that's all they take, you're going to be very thankful of it. So don't look, I look at it that way. Um, if I trade futures, would this course benefit me? Uh, Cindy, listen, there are a lot of futures traders that come in there. You want to, you, listen, it's going to help you become a better futures trader also, or you might n at least know, um, listen, I have options traders, right? Listen, what makes an option move? A movement of the stock. Don't you think you need to know what stock's moving first before you trade the option? So yes, it's gonna help you. It's not gonna hurt you. And for what, $9? It's all it's gonna cost you. Is your trading room uh, a, a, a course monthly for stock traders or is it also for futures trades? Um, it's mainly for stocks, swing, options, and very little little futures. Okay. Uh, Wendy, I think uh, Bruce just put in the book map cost there. Um, my question about dark pools. Okay, so David, listen, you want to learn about dark pools? Go Investopedia. There's a thir there's a 60 second commercial on it. It tells exactly what a dark pool. That's the least of your problems. You're worrying about dark pools and you're in the wrong business. Okay. Uh, dark pools are basically orders that are trading within a brokerage firm's account. You know what? That, that that's not going to help you. What's going to help you is knowing um, where all the orders are right now. I'm not, I was never worried about dark pools, never affect me. And when you have the book map, that's all, you know, that, that makes it more than enough. Uh, $9, uh, right. It's, it's, it's $9 for seven days, Ben. Yes. And if you want to continue after that, like I said, it's $149 a month. And you, listen, if you want to do it, do it. If you don't, no big deal. No problem. You're very, very welcome. Appreciate it, um, Davi. All right, guys. So you got the link. Um, you got the registration. I taught you a little bit about Bookmap. You see the importance of it. You know, listen, if some of you move forward with us, I look forward to seeing you in the trading room. Just remember, when you register, you're going to get access to an education advisor. He's going to walk you through your dashboard. He's going to show you everything you're going to see. He's going to tell you a little bit about the course. He's going to tell you a little bit about um what you need to see in the trading room so you don't get lost because i'm telling you right now a lot of you are going to be so damn confused i don't care how advanced you are you're going to see what it's like to be in a real professional trading room and you're going to see real traders that you know that are really trading stocks and the big thing is it's not about me trading it's about me teaching you how to figure it out on your own but you're going to know how to use the book map you're going to learn how to use follow level three and level four and you're going to and you're going to see that um trading is not as difficult as you make it to be Okay. All right. Um, just one little more quick shout out. I just got Charles V. I just got your registration uh, from New Mexico and uh, Vaughn Clements. I think that's what it is from uh, Western Australia. All right. I had a student fly all the way from Australia to New York to come to my onsite. You know, actually two, two, two students actually. So uh, that's how committed some of the traders are. All right, everyone, listen, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Bookmark, thanks for having me, Bruce. And uh, look forward to seeing you guys all in the trading room. Appreciate it. And students, thanks for coming up. All right, listening. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.